Hey there, it's Casey Demon here, TaxSellAcademy.com. Before we get to today's video, if you enjoy these tax sell training videos and you wanna learn more, make sure you click on those subscribe and like buttons for me. So I wanted to shoot a video today to discuss quit claim deeds. And this is in response to a question that was left under an unrelated video from Andrew. He simply wanted to know, when do I use a quit claim deed? That was the question. So I've done videos about these specifics before, so I'm not gonna go over everything about quit claim deeds, but in short, it's a deed that conveys whatever interest a seller has in a piece of property to a buyer or to a grantee. This could mean that everything is perfectly clear, or it could mean that there are issues with the chain of title. If you want to learn more, again, search my channel for quit claim deed. And notice it's spelled quit, Q-U-I-T. It's not a quit claim deed, quit claim deed, all right? So it's important to note, this differs from a warranty deed. With a warranty deed, you're warranting or you're guaranteeing that the chain of tile is free and clear of all encumbrances and defects. So keep that major difference in mind. Again, quick claim deeds provide no guarantees and most other deeds will provide some sort of guarantee. So back to the question, when do you use this deed? When would you use a deed that doesn't guarantee the buyer any warranties about that title? So let's go over a few different scenarios. As you'll see, these are not all necessarily tax or related, but these examples will put the usage of a quick claim deed into context. The first one is a self-transfer. What I mean by this is let's say you own a property and you want to transfer from a company or trust you own to yourself or vice versa. In this situation, you simply type up the quick claim deed, record it, and transfer it to or from yourself. Another option will be for marriage or lack thereof. If you want to add your new spouse to the deed, quick claim deeds are fantastic for that. Likewise, if you get a divorce and your former spouse's name needs to come off that title, use a quick claim deed. Another reason could be for an inter-family transfer. Many parents will consider adding their children to their title as they near the end of their life expectancy. They'll simply transfer the title from themselves to themselves along with their children. This also can help for estate planning purposes, of course. On that same accord, it's an easy way for family members to simply give their property to somebody else. Now, in most of those examples, you could, of course, also use a warranty deed since they're considered friendly type transfers. But a quick claim deed is often utilized and especially utilized if there aren't any liens or encumbrances on a property. Now, let's talk about some other situations where the seller wouldn't want to sign that warranty deed. One scenario is when your sole intention is to remove an interested party from that chain of title. Now, I've had situations in the past where someone got left off the deed. They failed to sign it or just got ignored completely three or four transfers ago. That person might have or have not been paid for their interest in the property, but they wouldn't have any interest warranting the title of that property since they no longer own it. So they'll sign a quit claim deed. Speaking of that, this can also be a way to clear the title to a tax foreclosed property. If you're able to get in touch with the owner who lost the property to tax foreclosure, some insurance companies will accept a signed quit claim deed from that person to you as a way to clear the title and provide title insurance. Now obviously check with your title company before you put forth that effort. Another reason is when the seller or grantor might be doing you a favor. I'm working a deal right now. Despite 30 plus years of usage over what was thought to be a flag lot, the property actually doesn't have any legal easement. So the neighbor, graciously enough, agreed to sign a quit claim deed to provide that legal access. That's another example. The last one is the one that we can most apply to tax on investors. A good reason to use a quit claim deed is when you suspect or you know that the title is not insurable. This could be for a variety of different reasons. For instance, if you know there's a lien on that property. Now, as a tax investor, there will be clouds on the chain of title, notably the tax foreclosure, which will prohibit title insurance companies from issuing insurance on it. This means that if you sign a warranty deed that guarantees it's free and clear of all encumbrances and there are any issues, you will be liable. There are ways to cure the title so you can get title insurance. We've done other videos on that. But if you have no intention to spend the money or time clearing the title, you're going to want to sell the property with a quick claim deed. This eliminates your liability and transfer the property from one party to the next. As we've previously discussed, this is something that the buyer must agree to. So your buyer pool will likely be reduced and also your selling price is going to be reduced. But it's a great way to sell properties quickly if you're willing to sell them at slightly below market values. So I hope that answered your question, uh, Andrew. And moving forward, when you don't use a quick claim deed or warranty deed, whatever it is, make sure you use the right deed for your specific scenario. Again, make sure you check out my other videos here concerning the different types of deeds and title clouds, and always consider checking with an attorney for a final opinion. So again, I truly hope that that has helped you out. If anybody else has a question about tax sell investing, just leave it under a video here on my YouTube channel. I'd be more than happy to give you a response, and I might just shoot a video response like this one. 
For more information on tax law investing, head on over to taxlawacademy.com. You can grab my free book right here, The Tax Sale Playbook. Just cover the shipping costs. Or if you're ready to pull the trigger and go all in right now and get started, and you want that comprehensive step-by-step -step training, go to that same website, taxlawacademy.com. Click on Join and become a member of the Tax Law Academy. And I cannot wait to hear your success story. Take care.